Hello, my name's Bish. Welcome to the London Self-Defence Academy. You might have remembered my last video on my unpleasant experience being mugged. Well, we want to examine the situation when it involves a knife that's drawn. I was lucky. I saw it in the back pocket. That is as good as it's going to get. This bad situation. So you saw from my last video how lucky I was. I knew there was something there. He had already provoked me. Different situation. What happens if I'm on the street and suddenly a knife's involved? Well, first thing we've got to remember is that distance is everything. We always say that, we always go on about it. I've got to manage the distance. I want, you know, if you want a safe guide, put your hands out and see how far away you are from him. You don't want him anywhere near you. So when the knife comes out, it's not straight into my neck. He's not, he's gonna, I've got my time. I've got space. I can work the situation. It is as easy as pie. That knife comes out. I've monitored my distance. I'm giving him my phone. It isn't worth it. Uh, you know, do not contemplate anything else. He walks away. I can go home, have a Horlicks, a little cry, and maybe put Radio 4 on, but I'm going to live another day. So what if this guy has an insatiable appetite for violence? It's not just my phone he wants. He wants to hurt me. Uh, sadly, that happens. Um, and it's going to be unexpected. It's going to be shocking uh, and there's no preparation for it or is there. So he's coming at me. He's asked for the phone. I give the phone. I want this over. Actually, what's going to happen if he's in a bad mood? It's over. It's over. So what can I do to make sure I'm still protecting myself even though I've given the phone away. Well, first thing, what did I say? Managing the distance. So I'm making sure I'm here. What I can do, this is a lovely block. Cross your hands over and you come in like this. Now, first off, just to show you how effective it is, one hit. Right, so that's full speed. What we're going to do now is show you how, once you're in that situation, you can turn that into a technique to get the knife off him. Yeah, go. Now, I'm not pretending that I'm not gonna get cut. I am, but it's given me time. And I'm gonna show you what we can do if I manage to get hold of it with this technique. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a technique. Again, remember, you don't want this to happen. This is awful, it's terrible. If it comes to this, this technique is very effective. He comes at me, I've blocked it in that way. I'm gonna do uh, a technique actually from Aikido called Kutageshi, where I take his wrist, I turn it back on itself and you can go all the way. You'll see what it's like, it can break his wrist, but he'll let go of the knife and I can leg it. Okay, here we go. So if I'm gonna use the mode of word, bold, highlighted, underlined, and italics, don't fight anyone with a knife. Don't fight anyone with a knife. Don't get involved in it. We're using this for demonstration purposes. This is worst case scenario. If they say in American television shows, you know, don't try this at home. Thank you so much for watching. Please click a like if you feel so inclined or subscribe to our channel. I hope it does not happen to you. Remember, always give your goods away when it comes down to it. It's not worth it. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry, man. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, sorry. No cry, no Horlicks, no Radio 4. I'm dead. <laughs> 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 Why did you kill him? <laughs>